Hello friends, let's discuss another trick. Okay, so let's say if you look at my screen, the same use case which we have discussed in the previous video, now we'll discuss the same use case in Cloud of 2.0. Now let's say same scenario where my application wants to access the target system which is whitelisted and now application is deployed under Cloud of 2.0. Now what all options we have to whitelist this particular IP address of this app in the target system. In cloud of 2.0, okay, you cannot get the public IP of your pod because it's this application get deployed under pod. Okay. How cloud of 2.0 works and how applications are getting deployed, you can see it in my, my other playlist. So I'll recommend to please go ahead and look at those cloud of 2.0 playlist. Okay. So, so first option of getting uh, public IP of your mule application is gone. Second, we don't have static IP options in cloud of 2.0. So that is the other option also gone of using static IP. Third option we have is we can represent the outgoing traffic by using egress rules. So we can write our own egress rules and we can represent the traffic of entire private space. So in cloud of 2.0, there is a, a concept called private space. So uh, I can quickly show you that. Okay, and how we can handle this situation in cloud of 2.0, that is our trick. Okay, so let me take my uh, private space. In private space, if you look at your network, by using outbound static IPs, okay. So application level, we don't have static IPs. Now we have static IPs at the private space level. So these three static IPs or public IPs will be representing entire outgoing traffic. That means if I whitelist these three IP addresses at the target system, any application from my private space will be able to connect those target systems. Okay. So I don't want that option. So this is like a, again, a blunder. Okay. So what cloud of 2.0 gives us the option is if you go to the firewall rules, we can write app level egress rules. Okay. We have option here. I have written some rules over here. Okay. So there is a default. It will allow all the traffic to any destination. And here, what I'm saying is, okay, I have created my uh, egress rule where I'm saying I can allow the traffic to the target system, which is whitelisted. And I have mentioned that this application from here will be able to connect this host only. That means what? I'm going to allow the egress traffic. So I'm going to give the this IP addresses to the target system. Yes. Okay. And then second point, I will be applying this egress rule on my application. So that application will be only able to access this particular host. How, how I can do it? I'll show you. So if you go to the application, so once you created egress rule, how to create egress rule and testing, I have again created a video for this. So you can go ahead and look for that. Okay. So I'll recommend everyone to please go through that video. So there is an application over here, which is using that egress rule. So in the section, firewall rule section here, at the application level now, okay? You can see, you can select here, whichever egress rule you want to use. And then based on that egress rule, your application will be able to connect that target system. Actually, entire traffic is allowed, but since this egress rule is applied on your application now application will follow these rules okay so your application traffic will be validated against this and then it will go outside okay so that's the things egress rule is the option to avoid entire traffic to be uh you know to be accessible or to be allowed to access that target system egress rule can control the traffic application level traffic okay so that's the that's the trick okay if you like it please share if you don't subscribe it, please go ahead and subscribe the channel. Thank you.